a very good morning and welcome to podcast radio and stuff i trust that you are having a very good day um it's a beautiful saturday morning and uh, yeah for abanda bahola ngay 25 i know good to be happy is all the kali leba fit and it's cool and as hola ngalo lo asulo nyana as hola ngalo uh, I'm about to go to an event, but I thought to you this morning, before I even finish dressing up, I cannot leave without uh, taking a jab. Uh, so welcome to today's installment of the week that was. This is the layman's view. Uh, I'm part of podcast radio and stuff. This is a podcast that is started by two boys who just uh, love uh, to comment. Uh, two boys who love radio, two boys who have been on radio. And that is why we call it podcast radio and stuff because we discuss this in this part in the radio. And we have a lot of interest with uh, you know. So I, I, I just couldn't leave. Simply because there are some very interesting things as in Zagalil. And yesterday, on Friday, I was waiting with great anticipation for some of the announcements. Abigate Zogenziwa, the Umkondo Wesizwe Party, the MKP, the party that is led by the former president. Uh, President Jacob Zuma is leading that party. So, you know, we, we, we were waiting for announcements and I'm just going to speak about two announcements which uh, shook many people, which many people talk, spoke about and that is what I want to talk about. The first one, a former Premier of KZN, former Premier of KwaZulu-Natal, who recently, uh, not long ago, announced that he is resigning from the African National Congress. And he actually sent a letter to his uh, branch that is serving in in Devon, uh, notifying them that he is uh, resigning. Uh, and um, I'm not quoting him uh, verbatim, but what he ANC no longer stands for what he believes in, you know. So, and then that is Ubaba Uwilis Mkun. He's a former premier of KwaZulu Natal. He's a former leader of the ANC in KwaZulu Natal. Highly respected. Ungo Munyo Abandu, Ama Abandu Be ANC, Abarate Beti Bayagen, Abeo, Beo Toli Wisdom, Bayo Nela Uluaz. I remember when Gubuge Gingazu Gutiguna Ma conflict a corner in Rungul. Um, when in this category, we go long sale and go to go sale is salary ni unko sumisi zulu. Kwage waba ni suggestion ugo ti abe i part of a mat delegate azo hamba ayendungulu ayoza mugo ti alungi se isimu esasi kona malisuskat. That was the insane wazulu natal suggesting the former premier ubaba u Willis Mitun. So he announced that he is resigning from the ANC Ubabumtun. Now, yesterday on Friday, and it is a Friday that we will not forget. Friday, the 25th of October, 2024. He is announced as the provincial con convener. Yes, provincial convener of the ANC for, oh, sorry, MK parties. Provincial convener for KZN. Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. No longer the ANC. So he's now announced as a provincial convener where MK party, a KZN, Ubaba, Uwilis Mkun. What are my views on this? I think this is a major blow for the ANC in the province of KZN, you know. Such a stalwart joining the MK, which is proving to be a serious threat to Ugbosagwe ANC KZN, which is proving to be one of the fastest growing 
opposition parties opposing the ANC in KZN. Now, Ugutola Umundonjango Willisimikunu joining the ANC, uh, sorry, joining the MK party after resigning from the ANC is a huge blow uh, for the ANC. And we all know Ugutu, the local government elections are just around the corner. So, what is happening really is going, is something as a finalist, what results could we expect? Uma upcoming local government elections in KZN. You know, let us look at the only metro that exists in KZN, which is the Etawini metro. What is the future of that metro with all these developments that we are seeing taking place? And I think, Jenga Manji, the leaders of the ANC really need to sit down, they need to regroup and really plan what are they going to do to make sure that they stay in power in the municipalities that they are currently leading? I'm not a politician, but any smart politician would see we are in trouble and we need to sit down and do something about this. But there you go, former premier of KZN and also... A, a senior leader, a former senior leader of the ANC, is now officially convener of the MK party in KZN, and that is Ubaba Uwilisimkun. And then the second person, uh, Opindwa Anounswa, is the former public protector, Ubusisiwe Mkwebani. Now, U former uh, public protector, uh, after a Pumile Skundle Sogoba, a public protector, uh, as a member of the EFF, she's been an MP. And a couple of weeks ago, she resigned from the, from the, from the MK party. And I remember, sorry, from the EFF. And I remember watching one of her interviews in, one, in another podcast where she said she is just tired and she wanted to rest. And now... Straight after resigning from the EFF, and she has joined the MK party, and it is now uh, uh, announced by the MK party that who uh, advocate Busisiwe Mkwebana is going to be the convener of the MK party in the Mpumalanga province. See, those are other developments, you know, uh, that uh, had taken place in the MK party. So, Mangabisbuga, Sheshe. A EMK party, a, I know in Pen, a Iadoba. It, 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 it is one party that is attractive if we can look at some of the people that it has attracted recently. We were all, all surprised and blown away when uh, Ufloy Chivambu, one of those who were uh, uh, close and uh, they were part of the formation of the EFF when he left the, e the EFF and he joined the MK party. And we saw it for the first time, Ogotigwe political party such as an e uh, is EFF, Umundu Mengabe Eshia, we political party, who announced Ogotin Jengo Be Shia, we are Because when Floyd was leaving the, uh, the EFF, who announced Ngale Lulanga, we press conference, the EFF, Ogoti U Floyd is joining the MK party. So we are born with the MK party in Ampela. It, 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 it is currently an attractive party for many leaders in the country. I'm not sure why the MK party is so attractive, but those who understand politics more than me and those who are in politics, surely they understand why the MK party is so attractive. But still on the issue of uh, Ezumusaz, Guno Mshato Kona, Eskale Uguti Sizwe Kakulu Ngao this year, Obizo Nguguti, a government of national unity, GNU. And Lomshato Lo, which GNU involves a number of political parties. There is the ANC there, there is the Democratic Alliance there. There is a EPA, got Gaton McKenzie there, you know, and, 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 and many other parties that are part 
of the GNU. But there is one party, um, Engenazi, when it comes to the GNU, a weak democratic alliance, a I know Melengi Shobafuit, a democratic alliance, a Isalisa Irafi ANC, a Seganing Logumanga Bing Buang, as you know, a Isalisa Iraf. We are going to have a new partnership. We are going partnership. We are going to platform. In Wazo Kulmagona behind curtains. Men are best show something in public. Waham, we won't pick in public. It means there is something that is not right. You know. So I'm asking myself many questions about the GNU. Recently, a uh, uh, former, so uh, uh, current president of the country, who uh, President Sir Ramaphosa, was in Russia, and he officially had a meeting with a uh, uh, president of Russia, uh, Putin, and in what he said, uh, President Ramaphosa, he said, "E Russia is." a very important friend and ally to South Africa. But ETA, ya release a statement, it yona ears kelelanisa nokshuo president Ramaphosa ukuti e South Africa is a, 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 a Russia is a good friend and a good ally to South Africa. It it a ka yona e it is South Africa a yona e ally and a friend to Russia. Now giti mina gambela gambela ganti lom shato wa shato aganja nila you know gina le mbuzo engi mbuzo yona mkonwe uguti the change to an genetic ANC. Do they share same values with all the parties that are part of the GNU? Do they agree on who should be a strategic partner? On who should be a strategic friend? Are they agreeing on all these things? You know, because when you form a government of national unity, I, I believe it would be important to check Uguti Lababantu a city Sizolanda Wonya Nabo Eta Flee. Sia Vumela Nain gez in des teen. Kunes in des balegil. Ekumele masi vumela nengazo. Labo. Asquaz Uguti si shate wata wunezindo. Esinga vumelani ngazo. Yabo. Kufana jeno guti. Mina manje ngeno emshatwin. No muntu eswazan. But guna ma core values and core beliefs. E tu sobabili. Asha isanayo. Sizo wazi ganja nuguti lo mshatu wetu. Upile ube sustainable. If lazy zint or lazy. E singa vumila ningazo. Ez nga ma core values. Nezi nga ma core beliefs e tu. So ngiboni nga zuguti. E, lengola e masondo sondo ya kshoga njalo nge si zulu mba manji lelaka wamelesi nge si usuwe la banze magmin e, gune zinde inga zange zizi zipek si iswe e, gulo mshato you know because you can't have a president speaking in an international country in an international platform covered by international news agencies and then Someone who's a partner to the president in government goes and disagree with the president in a public platform. I think that is something that we should really be looking at because somewhere. Then lastly, um I wanna end with um <coughs> story essing to see. Um, 
Sikule sonke sazo kuti manga begu shatwa. You know when marriage happens. Sikule sonke sazo kuti. U mundwe sifazano yena otata isbongo. So mundwe silisa. But this week. Kube ne ruling. In the Bloemfontein High Court. Evu mele uguti. Umagu shatwa. Always lisa. Uya vunyelo uguti. Menga be efuna. Uguti. Atate isbongo. Salo. Always fazane amshatayo. Atate. Hange ngezi example. Jengo ba minangu ntokozo chapa. Uma. Ngishata. E, nozi anda kuzwayo Iti gelendo Nginga wazi mina Uguti Ngiti no Mina ngizo ba untogozo kuzwayo Shuti ngitate isbogo sika mga hami For me it's something that e, Enkala yu gizwa But manga be nyila ndelo Uguti kuf, i, ifike ganja ni high court la Kube no eslisa Obe fisu uguti kwenze keganje Na go wako mshato I home affairs yati no 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 never. Um teto esi sebenza ngao. Au vumeli logo. So um teto au vumeli logo. Gufanele uh, ufari special request if you want that. And the special request has to go to the authorities. Then lowest list of officer when they logo. Inda bawa vele wa itata wa isa. Eplum in high court. Then bate menga be, e, e, be ikubungula e, e, lendaba e plumfantain high court. Babo ono good no. Katele lo mte tolona e, unabu ngabinayo e fairness. E, so that is why beti no hai. Lo esilisa ngawazo tata e, i, i lukuzane i isbongo sika, sika mama wakwaki. So ge e, now. I am interesting in following this and seeing what he is or to nail in again. You shouldn't have no title. What's a home affairs? Come on, what's in je? We suzo what's in je? What's more figure home affairs? More than funuk tata a isbongo siga mga mi kufele je kubeni dayenzega at home affairs level. Then I've been thinking about this and I've had people, many people, commenting about it and what it mean. It's in a me view. And I must say, um, I've, I've thought, I've not read, but I've thought about every culture that I know and about every religion that I know. Maybe there are some other cultures that I'm not exposed to and religions that I'm not exposed to, but this is unheard to me. I've never heard of something like this before. Guo wonga ma culture engwa tabangile. Na ma religion yungwa tarangin. Secondly, I've even, because me na me Bible reader, checked in the Bible. Again, it's something that is unheard. So, I've been asking myself, ngampela, ngampela, ukuti, how did we get here? You know, because I believe ukuti mteto, e iti mangabe ya kiwa, it must be based on a certain way of life, a gay appeal, you know, so, so it could be a tradition, a tea, a long tattoo, no, was so get a good tradition, a tea. So, if long tattoo, can you go to the way of passing, we are getting a home affairs, is it going to be coming from where? Is it going to be so get up in the end of it? So, those are some of the questions that I have, and I would really like you to comment about this. Uh, and some about comment. Do you think it's good? Ungatanda wuti umienu ako gube uyena utati sponga zako. Nama chita wa comment. Ungafu mainu kutu wenu umanga be ushatelua. Utate isbongo skanko skazu wako. What are your views on that? So I just want to end it there uh, for today. You know, those are my views. Uh, it's the layman's view right here on podcast radio and stuff and thank you so much for watching and please do comment on everything that i spoke about uh, on today's episode i look forward to your comments uh, you know maybe you're a person who is into politics you can comment about some of the things that are touched on on politics maybe you can also comment on the story uh, so so what's it 
umangabe kushatwa oweslisa atate e kama isbongo so isfazan. Do you agree to that? I welcome your comments. But then, after watching this, please don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to set the notification bell so that tomorrow in the morning you'll be able to watch our episode. Tomorrow in the morning at 9 o'clock, we've got a very, very beautiful episode uh, where I will be with Ndobego. We'll be interviewing a guy who's done well for himself in radio. He's been with commercial radio. He's been with com community radio. He's been involved in the side of development when it comes to radio. There are many people that I know personally who have been developed by him, and some of them are not even afraid to acknowledge or say they've been developed by him. So I, I do invite you to watch that uh, wonderful interview that we are going to be having tomorrow right here on podcast radio and stuff. My name is Dogozo Chapa. And this is Podcast Radio and Stuff.